doing down there? Just a minute. Just in the process of finishing this storage I got above my stairs now. How'd you do that, you see? Well, let me show you. We got to level across from right here to over to here. And then level two lines, one here and one over here so that we know that the, the ledgers will be running parallel to each other then I gotta find my stud finder wherever that is not really sure so that we can mark the stud locations so I know where to put the fasteners into the ledger boards Found my stud finder, but let's check and see if it works yeah. first. Definitely works. Now that I have that figured out, I can go and cut my ledgers and figure out where the joists are going to fit into them. All right, got those laid out. As you can see here, got one, two, three, four of them. So I'm gonna notch this out probably with the jigsaw so that the floor joist will just pocket right in there. And it'll look pretty. All right, that's what's next. Got a few chunks of this laying around. It's just some roughs on. I don't know what the size is. Two and a quarter by three inch roughs on material. That's what's going to be the joists. I need four of them. I got that. So let's use it. Just going to show you here. I got them all roughly fitting. That one's just sitting up on the vise there, that's why it's all cockeyed. Now I'm just going to give them a quick sand just with a grinder. It just doesn't, doesn't need to be nice or nothing because they're rough sawn. I, I want the rough sawn looks. 
Yes, there's a guard on my grinder. Can't you see it? Now we'll give everything a little round over. Cause if you can't make it fit perfect, then accentuate the flaw. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a pilot hole to check and see uh, if there's actually studs where I've marked. And then I'll put a screw in there to, to verify that. I have to drill a pilot hole through this because it's lath and plaster. And it's so hard that it'll take the threads right off the screw if I just try to screw right into it. However you want to say it. Um, today we're going to be fastening the ledger boards to the wall. I went ahead and countersunk and pre-drilled the where the studs are on for each one. I'm going to be fastening it to the wall with these uh, three inch structural lag screws. Should be pretty good. Let's get these floor joists cut to length. I think it's time for some lunch.
crazy little monkeys? Come here. Apparently I had some helpers while I was eating some lunch. Now I have to process the decking boards for up on top there. I'm gonna cut a shiplap in them so that if the boards shrink at all, I won't be able to see space down between there. That was fun. This is um, what the shiplap looks like. The first board only has one rabbit, I guess it would be. And the other ones after that, until the last one, have two. So it is just kind of it together just like that okay I'm up on top of the world here now um, I got some of these three and a half inch screws here just three or three and a half inch screws I'm just gonna screw them through the face of these boards down into the joists. Here it is, all finished up. Take a look from the front. I'll show you from the bottom here if I can get down there without falling down the stairs. Uh, all right, there's from the bottom. On the way up the stairs. Well, thanks for coming along on this journey with me, building this uh, storage above my stairs. Uh, if you liked the video, check out some of my other ones. And uh, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you.
Pro tip for you guys, make sure you wear your high vis in your shop at all times, just in case a big truck decides to run through the door that they'll see ya.